Hey y'all, hey y'all, hey y'all, hey. I am starting an egg fast this week. doing an egg fast this week I'm doing a three-day egg fast I've done it one other time and I just really really felt good so I decided to try it again and this time to kind of bring y'all along and show you what I'm eating the whole three days and how I'm feeling and all of that jazz all right y'all let's talk egg fast rules I'm gonna plop up plop I'm gonna put up on the screen the egg fast rules here egg fast rules that I am following y'all I am going to have up to six eggs a day with each of those eggs I'm gonna have a tablespoon of fat and I can have up to four ounces of cheese a day. I don't know that I'll have four ounces a day. I don't know that I'll be able to hit six eggs a day as I am a bariatric patient, but those are the main rules. I allow myself to have coffee with one tablespoon of cream, up to three sweeteners in a day. And I also incorporate a Zip Fizz. Zip Fizz is really important to me for my electrolytes. Another thing that I'm going to strive to do is get as much fluids in per day, a minimum of 64. I put a Zip Fizz in this and I drink two of these a day. Day one, my ketones are reading 1.2 this morning on the start of the egg fast and my weight was 198.8. I'm going to start my day off with some coffee. This is just a breakfast blend coffee, one tablespoon of heavy whipping cream, one scoop of this collagen peptides. This is my first time trying this brand one pump of salted caramel skinny syrup. About 10 a.m., I just had one bite of this egg loaf and remembered I needed to show y'all. So this is the cinnamon egg loaf that I made. Right now I'm gonna make an egg loaf. And the way you make an egg loaf is one part egg, one part cream cheese, one part butter. I'm gonna do five, five, five ratio. So I'm going to do five ounces of cream cheese, five tablespoons of butter, and five eggs. You just put it right into your, I can't think y'all. What is this? I'm just gonna put it right into the Ninja. Egg loaf is super easy to make. Probably should have turned the oven on and do that real quick. And then I'm also gonna make an egg casserole that is actually for the kids for breakfast. But that way we can use the oven one time for both, right? I'm gonna add half a teaspoon of baking powder. I am going to use some cinnamon. You can use as much as you want of this. You don't even, I'm not gonna measure. I'm just gonna dump in some. And then I'm gonna do just a little pinch of salt. For the sweetener, you could put some stevia, you could put stevia drops, you could put erythritol, you could do whatever you want. I'm just gonna use a Jordan Skinny Syrup because I have it. This is caramel pecan, and I'm just gonna do a couple pumps. When you're doing an egg fast, you wanna use the best ingredient, the best quality ingredients as you can get. These are from my friend's backyard. I have a couple things I'm gonna do with this this week. We're not just gonna eat it the one way. I will show you as the week progresses. Just sprinkle a little more of the cinnamon sugar mixture right on top. I'm gonna set this to the side while I make an egg casserole. Usually I do eight to 12 eggs, either heavy cream, heavy whipping cream or milk. This is just whole milk for the kids. Then I'm just gonna whisk this up with some salt and pepper and some spices, throw in the veggies, and then it'll be ready to go. And dump it right in. And that was my oven beacon to tell me I'm ready. Perfect timing. These are both going in, egg loaf and egg casserole. There we go, y'all. I'm going to enjoy this. I'm eating it cold. Sometimes I eat it cold, sometimes I eat it warm, sometimes I put butter on it, sometimes I put syrup on it. There's so many things you can do with egg loaf. Getting ready to chow down on this. Y'all, my cheeks match my shirt. Oh my gosh. Oh, I hate when I get these red cheeks. Anyways, y'all, the next thing we're gonna do is do a little bit more food prep. So we're going to make some hard boiled eggs and then make some egg salad. Let me show you how I do that. Use the Instant Pot to make some hard boiled eggs. This little insert comes with your Instant Pot. You wanna put that down in there and plop them right down onto this tray. I'm just gonna do six today, but I, you really could fit all 12 right in here if you wanted to. Add a cup of water, top on, sealing. The next thing that we're going to do is we're gonna hit manual. It's gonna go for five minutes and then we are going to let it natural release for five minutes and then we will plunge it into an ice bath for five minutes. First two stages, the five minutes and then the five minutes 
In the Instant Pot, very important that you measure your time on that. If you go over, your insides of your eggs will not be a pretty yellow. They'll be that ugly green. But this ice bath part is a little more forgiving. I wanted to show y'all how easily these peel. Look at that. But look how bright and beautiful and yellow that is. The perfect hard boiled egg, y'all. Just gonna make a quick egg salad. This was six eggs. We're gonna add some mustard. You can use any kind of mustard you want. I just felt like using this horseradish. Usually to egg salad, I use diced dill pickles, but that's not on my egg fast, so I'm just adding some dill weed. I'm gonna add some salt and some pepper. Chosen food mayonnaise is what I'm going to use. And add one more. You can do up to a tablespoon of fat per egg. Doesn't that look wonderful, y'all? I am going to add one tablespoon of red wine vinegar. You could do apple cider vinegar. Since we don't have the dill pickles with the dill pickle juice, I feel like it needed just something. That's much better. Again, egg salad is always way better after it's been in the fridge for a little while, but you want to taste as you go anyways. Egg salad. Yum. For lunch, I'm going to make an egg cheese pizza. And the way you do that is with one egg, three fourths a cup mozzarella, a fourth a cup of Parmesan. You can use the grated, but I had this Parmesan, so I'm just using that. And then you spice it up however you want. To make it taste kind of like garlic bread, cheese pizza-y, I added some of this garlic and onion spice blend. Also a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, and a little bit of just Italian seasoning. I'm gonna stir all this up and then we're gonna bake it. I just used a wet hand and spread this out as thinly as possible. My egg cheese pizza right out of the oven. I just picked it up on the parchment paper. Super, super pliable. You could totally use this as like a sandwich wrap. For an egg fast, it took me about 10 minutes to cook this in the oven, y'all. I can eat about half of this, so this will give me two meals. And on my half, I could spread it with some egg salad if I wanted to. My mind is just spinning with ideas though, y'all. It's so pliable. I could use this as layers in like a keto lasagna or a wrap for keto enchiladas. It's a really high protein, good fat ratio. This is such a cool thing. I will put the recipe down below. I found it on Instagram. I love it, love it. It is about 4.50 and I am having another serving of egg loaf. We made macaroni and cheese for the kids, so this yummy cheese sauce, I decided I would have some of it over my cheesy egg pizza. So this cheese sauce is gonna be a delicious dinner on this egg. Y'all, I cut up the cheesy egg pizza kind of noodle style and put the cheese sauce over top of it. It was so freaking good, y'all. Yum. As I wrap up day one egg fast, I realized I really could have done better. I didn't really get enough eggs. I had too much cheese really for the egg ratio. Could have had a little bit more fat even. I was trying to make all these neat recipes and I really enjoyed doing that. But tomorrow I'm gonna focus on getting a more perfect rounded day. Hey y'all, it's Tuesday morning. I'm checking in. Yes, I'm still wearing my same shirt from yesterday. I slept in it and I'm still wearing it and I'll probably wear it all day. So I started my day off with a coffee, two scoops of collagen. So that's 20 grams of protein, a little bit of heavy cream and a little bit of sweetener. That was around 9.30 this morning. I didn't eat till around 11 o'clock. I had this idea to make bread pudding out of egg loaf. I just cubed the egg loaf up. I made a little sauce, poured it over it, and heated it up in the oven. Here's the bread pudding. I'm gonna have this for breakfast. Let me taste it. Oops. That's pretty good, y'all. Pretty good. I am gonna be working on this. I think I know what I need to do to make it more like actual bread pudding, but it is definitely like a dessert. Probably wouldn't be able to have more than a couple of bites of it. Okay, I lied. I ate three-fourths of it, y'all. It was decadent. It was delicious. I ate more than I should have of it. I have not been hungry at all today, but it's a little after 2.30, and I feel like I need to eat some lunch. So this is the egg salad that I made yesterday. These are my favorite bowls. I got these from my sister-in-law for Christmas. They are my favorite. So this is a really small container. You can see how small it is with me holding it in my hand. So this is two eggs worth. I 
may not be able to eat all of this in one sitting, but I'm planning on having this amount today. I did want to take a second out of this egg fast to talk to my weight loss surgery peeps. If you are new out of surgery, almost all of these egg recipes would be perfect for you. They're soft consistency. A lot of them can be made into purees. Like this egg salad I'm eating could totally be pureed up. If you're in the soft stages after surgery, all of these egg things are amazing things for you. They're high protein. They can be made even higher protein by adding some like a scoop of Gene Pro to the egg salad. That was one of the tricks that I did. If that's you, these recipes down below you may want to take note of because a lot of them are super yummy and super high protein while the amounts are relatively small. So just wanted to share that. And I wanted to say this egg salad is one of my favorite egg salads I've ever made. It is bomb. It is so freaking good, y'all. It doesn't have the dill pickle relish that I usually add, but I think adding that vinegar that I added was just the touch that it needed without the dill pickles, and then it still has that dill flavor with the relish. I mean, dill flavor with the dill weed. Oh my gosh, y'all. So good. I thought I'd break open these cheese wisps and eat the egg salad with this, like scoop it up. But this is an idea of a way to eat egg salad if you're keto. These are so yummy. I am making an egg chalupa just with one egg and very little cheese. I'm really not hungry, but I know I need to eat a little bit more. So making this, I put salt, pepper, and a little bit of everything but the bagel seasoning on it. Here is my egg chalupa for dinner. Oh, yum. Does not look good, y'all? I don't think I can ever get tired of eating this. So let's kind of wrap up day two. I felt like what I ate went pretty well. I'm going to put it up here on the screen just to show you how many eggs I ate, how much fat I had, how much cheese I had, all that jazz, and then how it came out as far as macros and calories and all of that. I do have to say I'm feeling really good but my GI system has been cleared out. It's probably TMI, but I told y'all I was gonna tell you how it went. I didn't really feel that bad, didn't have like cramping or any of that stuff, but I think I'm cleaned out. So we'll see what I weigh on the scale. But overall, I'm feeling really, really good. I have good energy not feeling achy or anything like that today. I've had one zip fizz with my water as always and over 64 ounces of water. So that was my goal. So I'm pretty happy. I feel like I'm hitting all my goals and overall feeling really good. We will see what day three brings tomorrow. I'll talk to y'all tomorrow. It's day three of the egg fast. I had coffee, collagen, and cream around 9.30. It's 12 o'clock now and I am breaking into some egg loaf. I am going to make some egg loaf waffles. So this is two eggs, two ounces of cream cheese, two tablespoons of butter, a little bit of vanilla, a little bit of cinnamon, a little bit of gentle sweet sweetener, and a little bit of salt. I'm going to whirl this up and then we're going to make it waffle style. I also saw a concoction of two tablespoons of mayonnaise and one egg and a little bit of salt. Stir it up really good and put it in a waffle maker and make it bread style. So it sounds very strange and I don't think I'm gonna like it, but I'm gonna try it. We're gonna shut this and see what happens. I made a quick icing. This is just cream cheese, butter, and cinnamon and gentle sweet. I'm gonna put this on top of my waffle. I've smeared my frosting. This is on the egg loaf. Smeared some frosting on the mayo and egg. This one is a lot crispier and sturdier. I can see how you could make this into like a waffle sandwich. This one is very, very flimsy. Very flimsy, but I'm sure it'll taste good. I'm gonna taste test both of these for you. This is the egg loaf. It's all right. I wouldn't make it in waffle form again. It was something unique and truthfully it was super, super fast but it doesn't have the same taste and texture as when you bake it in the oven. I would definitely recommend the egg loaf in the oven. Okay, let's try the next one. Here's the next one. I'm going to taste it first without the frosting. It's a little strange. This one sounded strange to me, but so strange that I felt like I needed to try it. All right, let's try it with the frosting. Oh. Don't make that one, y'all. I'm not even gonna include that recipe. Mm. It just tastes like mayonnaise. It's not good. This will be going in the trash. The egg loaf one is definitely worth eating, but I would not recommend it compared to the oven. 
I wanted to talk about a few different options for the egg fast that I'm not going to get to make but are on my list to try in the future. These are mostly things I found on Instagram, so the ones that I can give credit, I will. One is an egg custard. I make custard often. I make a couple different custards. One is just a plain white vanilla custard. It is super yummy. And then there's a quick stovetop one that I make that is a, it's called a hot chocolate custard. It is quite delicious and is even easier than the one for in the oven. I will definitely include all of these recipes down below. The next one is egg fast lemon bars. These look so good. Definitely like a dessert. I guess you might could eat it for a breakfast. They look really, really good. Definitely on my list to try. Egg patties. These are quite interesting and I'm interested in trying these too. I may actually make these for dinner. What she did was take egg salad and make it into patties and fry it up in butter and eat it like that. And they look really, really interesting. So we may try that for dinner. If I do, I'll share it with you. Then snickerdoodle crepes. I breathe I'm hungry is where those come from. I love all of her stuff and I really want to try those. They seem really similar to an egg loaf just made crepe style. The next thing is egg drop soup. I do not advise getting it out at a restaurant because they put thickeners in it that have lots of carbs but you can totally make one homemade at home with just like some broth. Stir up some eggs really good and then put it into a stirring pot of boiling water. That works really well and that would be a tasty alternative that's not quite as breakfasty eggy. And then of course there's always deviled eggs. There's always hard boiled eggs. Both of those I make often. And then there is this egg drink concoction. It's like a shake. I have been a little hesitant to try it but it's an idea and people say that it's delicious so there's that and then there's these little beautiful egg clouds that are like almost like a meringue with a yolk cooked right in the middle they are beautiful they look like they're a little bit more time consuming maybe but they do look like something worth trying they're just beautiful so that wraps up my ideas. Y'all share ideas that you have, things I miss, things I should try, what things you want to try. Let me know down below. Dinner tonight, I am just going to have this egg salad. It's two eggs worth of egg salad in my favorite little bowl. Total today on day three, I will pop up again my macros and what I ate and all of that so you can see how it went. I feel like today went pretty well. It was pretty easy. I have not been hungry, y'all. It was a chore yesterday and today to eat. I love the things that I'm eating. I love eggs. I love everything that I tried pretty much, but I just wasn't feeling it, wasn't wanting to eat. But I got it in and I got my three days done. However, on the scale this morning, I was up a pound. My ring is feeling tight. When my ring feels tight on my finger, I know that I'm bloated. I know I'm gonna be up a pound. This is like my little, it barely fits now, so if it feels tight, I know that I've got some bloating going on. I did not eat any extra sodium at all. I had more water than I usually have, but not that much. So I'm not sure what the deal with that is. I am gonna go ahead and post this tonight, but I will update y'all on Instagram what my final weigh-in is because that will be tomorrow morning but i wanted to get this up tonight so we'll see if i lose any weight or not even if i don't uh last time i did an egg fast i didn't lose i lost one pound but then by the end of the week on my actual weigh-in day i had actually lost more than i had in weeks so i think it kind of jump started it for me even though for me it didn't show up on the scale immediately now egg fast for many many people will jump start weight loss will kick a stall will speed up some weight loss a lot of people lose five plus pounds even i'm never that person on anything that i try not even on straight fasting my body just doesn't let go of weight like that but don't think because i didn't lose a lot of weight that you can't we cannot compare ourselves we just got to trust the journey we got to make good decisions and just keep riding it out okay y'all so I still really, really encourage you to try it. It's a great little thing to try if you like eggs. If eggs sit well with you, obviously if you don't like eggs, yeah, not for you. But if you do, it's worth a try. It's super yummy, delicious, healthy food. So, you know, it's worth a try. My only tip is probably if I'd had less cheese, I would have done better. But it's hard for me to eat eggs without cheese. But I think that's probably big because I don't normally eat a lot of cheese every day. And on an egg fast, I tend to. So that was probably my biggest downfall. But anyways, that's it. I'm going to wrap this up here. 
If you enjoyed watching this, I would love you to give me a thumbs up. If you're new to me, I would love for you to subscribe. I would love you to join my little corner of YouTube. I am actually going to be posting every single day in April. It's a challenge I'm giving myself. So sign up and hit that notification bell and you'll get all of my updates, all of my posts. They'll all be weight loss related in some form or fashion. Keto, weight loss surgery, cooking, meal planning, all of that fun stuff. It's giveaway time. When I hit a thousand subscribers two weeks ago, I posted that I was going to do a giveaway and it is time to announce the winner. Fatty to Savvy VSG, you won. Fatty to Savvy VSG, you won. It's going to you. It's going to be a $50 Amazon gift card and then just a lot of goodies from me. So send me a, a message on Instagram or email me or down below message me. I need your address so that I can send you a package. Yay, girl. Mm -hmm.